Hello everybody, welcome back to Masa's Kitchen. I haven't done a video for a little bit, so sorry about that, but today we are going to do Instant Pot Lasagna. And no, this isn't going to be just a straight Instant Pot channel, but for some reason it's winter time, cold outside, and that's where I prefer to cook. But we're going to do stuff in the house right now, so I need to do this. And the daughter keeps asking me for Instant Pot Lasagna. And so here we go. We have, to start with, I like to use ground turkey. It's a little bit healthier. We're going to use marinara sauce, onions. This is for when we cook the meat. Um, Italian seasoning, some garlic, some pepper, some salt. And for the cheese, we're going to have thyme, basil, oregano, red peppers, Italian seasoning, egg, Parmesan cheese, ricotta cheese, and some mozzarella cheese, and of course our noodles. So let's get started on browning up the meat. You could do that in there, but it's so deep, I don't like to stir it up and brown it up inside there. So I'm just going to use my skillet. So come on over here. Turn that down. First, this is supposed to be a small yellow onion. And throw the onion in, get that all sauteed up first. And we'll get that going a little bit. And then we'll put our meat in there, brown that up. in there to help so the onions will cook up nicely. Let's add our garlic too. I'm going to do about a tablespoon. To me this little spoon looks like about a tablespoon. That looks good right there. good I like that I like that smell of the garlic smells wonderful now I'm gonna put this meat in here this ground turkey there we go I'm gonna chop this up round it up Oh yeah, those onions are looking golden brown. I like that. So while that's happening, I am going to put some pepper in it and then some salt. I like this coarse ground pepper. I keep saying that. This is my favorite, so this is what I like to use. That fine stuff is no good. There we go. About a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And then we'll add some salt. It's a nice kosher salt. I like it because it's bigger chunks. There we go. Teaspoon, something like that. And then we all know what brown and meat looks like, so I don't think we're going to sit here and watch it the whole time. I'll just cut this part out for you because we know how to brown meat, I hope. All right, our meat is done. I'm happy with that. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the cheese. 
Take your ricotta cheese, put it in. Oop, there it goes. You need an egg. Go ahead and crack your egg on the counter. Drop that bad boy in. All right, and then we'll use some Parmesan cheese. Just put some of that in there. However cheesy you want this stuff. You know, so got this mozzarella cheese. I like mozzarella, and this is the big stuff. Look at that. That's some big mozzarella. We'll start with that right now. And then, because of that egg, I'm going to use a fork and start stirring this up. There we go. Break that egg. Get that all stirred up in there. Probably use your hands, probably be just as easy. However, this is how I'm doing it. Oh yeah, listen to that. We've got some more mozzarella. Let's move this up out of the way. And then that up nicely we're gonna take some time all about a teaspoon of this stuff maybe a half a teaspoon but here goes some time smells good some crushed red pepper flakes sprinkle some of that in there let's take this off so it comes off better there we go and with some oregano And Italian seasoning. I put like probably two tablespoons of that in there. That's a nice flavor to that. Did I do basil? Nope, I didn't do basil. There's some basil. And salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And about a teaspoon of that. Maybe more. There we go, and some salt, there we go, that looks good, and there we go, and now we stir it up. I think I'm going to add some more mozzarella and more parmesan, that looks in, looking kind of juicy, we don't want it so moist, add some more cheese to that. I'll write down all the ingredients and everything so you know the exactness. But I'm not an exactness kind of cooker. I'm a about. I'm gonna throw that about in there and about that and about this. Alright, that's looking good to me. Let's move that out of the way. We're casting shadows. There we go. All right, now we're going to start with this and build our layers. So first, we're going to take some uncut or uncooked lasagna noodles. And what we do here, you don't have to cook them, but we are going to, see that? Nothing in the bowl. This is a spring-loaded pan. Now I'll probably have a heck of a time. Oh, there we go. Back together. So we're going to break this up and cover the bottom. And we just kind of put it together like a puzzle. And put the noodles in there. Hey, come on up here and get a shot up on top. See how we're just putting it in there like that? Just kind of building it and kind of piecing it together. That's basically what we do. So now I'm going to take some marinara sauce. 
you want to take it off and set the camera? Yeah. All right. We're back. Marinara sauce. I'll put a layer of that on there. There we go. Grab a spoon. Spread that around. Try to keep the noodles from not moving around too terribly much. They are going to move on us. And then take some meat. Put that in there. Now we'll put some cheese on it. in there. And another layer of noodles. bust up in there that's okay that's kind of what we're looking for though just want it to you know you could cook it no I probably want it because in the instant pot would make it soggy so you really don't want to do that that looks good let's do another layer of sauce spread that around Do a little more sauce so it's juicy. There we go. Put the meat in, some more meat. I think this pan right here is a seven inch it's a seven inch spring pan um, I bought mine off of Amazon let's do some more cheese there we go spread that around we're doing another layer I know we're at the top. This is top layer is going to be basically just cheese. I'd like to shout out a special thanks to my camera person, my daughter. I roped her into sitting here filming this and moving the camera around for me. Because most of the time I do this by myself with this stationary camera. And as y'all have seen, it works out okay, but then we smash that down a little bit. Let's put some more sauce on top. There we go. Yep. And we're going to go with just some mozzarella cheese on top. So we're going to throw this in the oven at the end and kind of toast it up and get that brownness and the golden brown on top. So what we need to do now if you want to Put it back up on there. It's not even on the stand. Good. It's sideways. Angled. 
Now we're going to do this little thing here. We've got to pull this out. out. We're going to take this. And now we just need a handle to lift it up and out of. There we go. Alright, let's get some stuff out of the way. There we go. Bring the pot out here. Plug this back early in. I don't think I'm going to use this. And then you can use this wire rack to put on the bottom so it's not sitting in the water. You gotta have at least a cup and a half of water in this. And that's about a cup and a half. Pump that in. And we got our little guy all wrapped up here. it up and then we'll set it down inside. Did you get that? Alright and now we're going to put this on. And then manual. Here's my manual. Manual for 22 minutes. And that's that. We'll let it cook and we'll come back to that when it's done. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to set it up right in front. All right, ladies and germs. We are back. It's been 15 minutes. It's all sealed, unsealed, and let's see how this looks. Let's pull this out. Hang on. Pull this out. Oh, yeah. And then let's unwrap this pretty beautiful present here. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks great. So now we're going to throw it in the oven under broil. And get it some crispiness. How does that look? That looks pretty spectacular to me. Okay, let's pull that out. That's done. Okay, here we go. We only want it for a few minutes in here. Not very long. You can see here. Oh yeah, that's getting there. Look at that. Couple more minutes. Turn that around a little bit. Maybe one more minute. That is looking great. Let's put you guys back up here. Okay, well, I bet that's it. Oh, yeah, there we have it. Looking good. Look at that. Now this is hot. Got to turn it so you guys can see this, the spring load. Ooh, it is hot. There we go. Boom. Boom. Got 
to get a picture real quick of this. All right, let's cut this open and see how it looks, shall we? my camera person she's slacking today she's fired and there it is and let's take a bite out of that oh yeah here it is Ooh, hot look at that cheese Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 Hot. But oh yeah, that is so hot. It's so good. Instant pot lasagna. Pretty easy. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and definitely watch the videos. Love you. Bye.